What's up? We're playing England. Let me close this. I don't understand. No this sunlight. This is cute England, chat. Cute England. Cute England that's gonna be strong. Yes, there's some added provinces. They're not in the English no. channel, though. There's added provinces here. There's added provinces here. I think there, there's a bunch of added provinces here. I have a pendant here. This is a pendant of good luck. Someone gave this to me last night, chat. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm just gonna rob you, everyone. There we go. Oh my god, it allied everyone. That's uh, the Roar of the Roses over. We're not gonna click this just yet because it is a construction cost mission and I'm not building anything right now, so oh it's gonna be god. a waste. The play we're gonna do right here is we're gonna vassal feed all of, what the heck, there's French troops here. Uh, we're gonna vassal feed all of Ireland and we're basically gonna use all of our admin points to finish economic ideas ASAP. Yeah, we're gonna go economic first and we're gonna finish economic ideas fast and we're gonna build up our island. Ready have decent Catholic, uh, papal influence gro growing. But yeah, so vassal feed, build up. Up. If France decks for this, by the way, we're gonna fight them. The reason being that in this mod, the last bastion of England, France, the if I hold Normandy, I get 10 ICA forever in this mod. So I'm gonna try to hold it. If I can't hold it, I can't hold it, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go tax reform just so we can make more money. 25% courier costs, gonna take the tax. Burgundy wants me to int France and France wants me to bur int Burgundy, but I'm not gonna do either right now and we're just going to scale. Like we're, we're giga scaling right now. We're already giga scaling. That's the English way, dude. Now we build churches. Sit here and build churches. I'll give you why you do this. I'm you a tacky? bully. The war of English aggression. <laughs> Right. What did England do? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, did you know CBM? Oh, wait. oh no. Abby, did you want to help me out a little bit? Uh, now that we got Lubeck land and we're getting yeah, war yeah. reps from <laughs> Denmark, <laughs> we just continue to go back to our AFK gameplay, upgrading trade centers, uh, building buildings, drilling our armies, getting to 100 army professionalism, just normal England stuff, you know? Why plutocratic? We're stacking goods produced and money and also infantry fire and fire damage. But yeah, uh, right now, the so uh, now they change in Gecko at tech 6. You can get a colonist through decision and you can also get a uh, conquistador as well as an explorer through decisions. So because of that, we're able to explore and we're, we're going to explore here. I don't know. I thought when it said North Atlantic, it meant over here. But um, and we can start colonizing. We can uh, colonize uh, 13 colonies first. That's the plan. Our eco is doing okay. We're at 51.23 ducats. Not the best eco in the game, but it's good for England at this time period. Let's go, boys. And then now, uh, uh, since Hansa player decided to leave, we can eat up Hansa. We can make uh, Denmark as a vassal, which will give us some really sick... Reconquest claims, and we'll go from there. Here we go, war on Sweden for reconquest. Beginning our 13 colonies while we're doing this war. Oh god! Look how big G Copenhagen got from rebels! I just realized! Oh my god! Whoa! Dude, what happened? Look how big my Denmark is! Without taking AE! And we can now deck on the on Lubeck and take the rest of the stuff. The 50-50 trade in the English channel. I, I can't vassalize in one war, so I I'm just gonna eat the four provinces by myself because I have admin. And you can just vassalize it since it's colonizing Caribbean. Transferring Lubeck does nothing, sir. It's one uh, percent. One here. Here we have to transfer because it goes to different nodes. Here we're collecting because it gives us more money and also more trade power. There's still four value. That's not because of the node. That's just because there's other people collecting here. The AI is building so many buildings, dude. Holy moly. The AI is building so many buildings. They're building... <laughs> Oh my god. We're going to start annexing Denmark now. It's gonna take a bit of time. Don't forget, we still have this until 1537, and then we also can pop this, which is more construction cost. I'm saving this though. I'm saving this for Tech 11 manufactories because we have weapons manufactories and we also have um, textile manufacturers coming at Tech 11. I'm also going to build farm estates. Um, right now, I think that's what we're gonna save for. We're gonna buy the farm estates. There's a couple good ones that I saw that we're going to do. Uh, basically, we're gonna just build a crap ton of manufacturers here. Well, you're actually coming in. You're sick, <laughs> KBB. Help, Ember, help. Just give me Holstein.
if I have to, if I have to actually commit for this war, I'm not gonna just take Holstein. Just letting you know, this is the last chance. This is your last chance. Just give me Holstein. Can you, can you at least pay off my debts? Then? No. <laughs> what? Just give you me Holstein. I was, I was totally chill with Fish, but you know, to when he decided. took, when he took this, I became no longer chill. I was helping out Fish. I was giving him money. I was, I even barraged a fort for him. I killed Denmark's Barrage navy for him. Uh, yeah, dude. I was being so nice, and then I was like, hey, I'm taking the rest of Hansa, and then he just decks on Hansa and took it. So now, now we have to be like this. I'm no can longer. Wait, can you wait until he comes back? No. Yeah, he just took 2k more debt. He's probably really close to bankrupting, given how small his economy is. That's why I just keep taking these battles. Dude, all I wanted was Holstein. This is such a big int, dude. Hey, you can't have one province. It's gonna be too rich and greedy. <laughs> I'll just bankrupt my nation instead. I Much would. better idea. He retreated no, on the last go. tick. That's how he, he's wi wiped me both times. He did that on purpose, okay? chat. I'm gonna remember this. I lost this war, but I'm gonna remember this. I, I don't know. I have nothing to say except Brandon Player. Brandon Berg Player is uh, really fucking good, dude. Really fucking good. It, 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 it gives it back. It gives it back. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Wait, what? They declared independence? No. <laughs> oh no! Disaster. It's a disaster. No! Disaster. <laughs> disaster. Disaster, man. Oh my god. This is Scotland. At least oh, it's only man. Scotland. Oh my god. Oh my lord, dude. It was sad. He played really well. The re one I learned, though, about that retreat now, and I'm going to use it from now on. If you last second well, retreat to stack wipe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the one one province retreat to stack wipe is so Chad, actually. Burgundy just bankrupted. France went bankrupt. Brandenburg went bankrupt. Oh my god, dude. It's another one of these games. Zero inflation. Now we go into here and upgrade all our trade centers to level three. So they go to level two when we bankrupt. Okay, and now we hit the bankruptcy button. Let's see if we can dev anything. Now we hit bankrupt. What a game of EU4. Things just got a lot more interesting. 1511, June, and our truce with Brandenburg ends June 1511. Second BB War, he also was able to stab hit. But then he bankrupted and Hesse decked on him. First Crownland buffs that are part of this mod. Five goods produced, 10 manpower, 10 tax. Little boost in income. Our income hasn't been really scaling this session. That's my fault. I take full blame for that chat. It's also Anglican has changed. It's not how it is in vanilla. Gives land fire, innovativeness, some stability. If you do stability, you get dev cost goods produced. If you do war, you get ma morale of armies, manpower recovery speed. And if you do trade, you get trade efficiency and global trade power. Look, he's just going back and forth. <laughs> What is he doing? <laughs> the AI is so smart. Wait, like, what can I say? I are devving so hard. Look at Lucetia. Oh, wow. Lucetia. Lucetia. Oh my God. 42 dev. 34 dev. What Even hand Hanover. AI scaling. Holy <laughs> shit. Scotland's devving too. 41 dev. 39 dev. What the? Mm, man. Even with the int war, we're doing okay now. But we could have been doing better. We could have been like number one eco right now. It is what it is. It's actually a bit crazy how much. The AI dev, like, look, I didn't even have influence ideas, and he went 41, 39 dev here, and then Bre the Denmark vassals now devving this, 23, and devving this. Oh, well, actually didn't dev that. Denmark vassal not devving as much, but uh, Brandenburg didn't have va uh, influence ideas, and look how much this guy dev. 43, 34, 15, 
34, 29. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 but then Ottomans did go influence first. This kit build can work. This build can work. But because he did that, his vassal is a lot stronger. And it also went influence ideas, which it's not supposed to do. AIs aren't supposed to take influence ideas because they're a bit bonkers on the AI. And vassals specifically. Like, look, this is, Syria has 54 troops, has a 1.5k in the bank making 11 ducats, has devved Aleppo and Damascus. Pretty much just Damascus, it devved it 13 times, and Aleppo it devved it 2 times. It's just the vassals are really just, they're just doing crazy stuff. Because they are playing better, because the player, who, the guy who made the mod, made the AI take all, like, AI takes the proper estates, like look at the AI's estates, it looks like a player's estates, you know? AI's never go these estates. It, because of that, it makes more power points, and then because it makes more power points, it devs. And it also builds the buildings in the right order. Like, if you look at the AI, like, look at the stuff that my AI built. It built regimental camps, churches, workshops. I didn't build these. Everywhere. Workshop. Even on these islands, it built workshop and and church. This island up here, too. And then on this province, they put regimental camp, church, workshop. Workshop, church, courthouse. Even Denmark is building buildings. Not as much, though. But, yeah, farm estate. AI never builds farm estates, but it did here. I'm pretty sure this, uh, Scotland also built farm estates. He built two farm estates. I also built a lot of farm estates. They're really strong early game. Really boost your income. Boom, boom, boom. Especially with the goods produced we have. Uh, right now we have... We still haven't reached peak goods produced, but we have 35% goods produced. Once we get this, this is another 20% goods produced. And then when we take quantity ideas, we're gonna get another 30% goods produced, I think. The thing is, I was going to attack Nether- I was gonna attack you, like, I was gonna attack you, Hildrick, but, uh, France, when I was bankrupt, took Normandy, and I don't have the Normandy, uh, buff anymore. So now I hate France. We're going into France, and we're boxing with Netherlands. Because the air, uh, by the way, France, uh, accepted my peace deal. We now have Brittany. The air, though! Holy moly. What? No! No! What the f***? <laughs> what the heck, dude? He just was born! Oh, no! We're gonna hit this, hit this, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to hit this mission, construction cost. So hit this mission right here, and next thing we want to do is we're gonna go into here, we're going to take our burger loans, and we're also going to sell titles. We're also going to dev a bunch of mill. Just doing one sale of titles, my dude. We're still going to 100 crownlands. We're just selling one so we can build those menus because they're really important. And we're going to save up for now for the next set of menus, which are going to be in textile manufactories. Next set of manufactories. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. We're going to actually take loans to build these because they're that important. And then we're done for now building. Go. Manufactories. There we go. And we start paying off loans, and then we finish the rest of our buildings. Another based air. Let's go. Boosting our income more and more. Paying some corruption now. As well, some reinforcement cost. Let me just double check this. Make sure we didn't miss any of the manufactories on the buildings. Textile manufacturing still on the way. We want to build to force limit here. There we go. So yeah, once I'm done building up myself, I'll send you guys 25 ducats each subs. And also give you more money for manufacturers. Anyways, you guys don't have your good manufacturers yet. That's not until Diplotech 14. Oh, unless we roll, like, uh, copper, iron. Yeah, yeah. If you have copper, iron, just take the loans to build them, and I'll pay them off as soon as I can. Or salt. Or I salt. If you can build the good manufacturers, build them. But if they're bald manufacturers or pharmacies, don't build them. Uh, look at the income now. Woo! There. Just broke 200 ducats. We'll pay these off. Full builds. Now we're trying to fire Elizabeth event for England. So if it's between 1533 and 1600, you can get Queen Elizabeth the first event, which gives you a 665 air with inspiring leader personality. And uh, yeah, so like here's the conditions. Is England or Great Britain? Okay. Is a monarchy? Okay. Not a pew? Okay. Has a male ruler? Male ruler. Does not have a regency? Not a regency. Does not have an heir? Don't have an heir. Have a province connected to the country's capital that's Protestant or Anglican. My capital is Anglican. So, should happen soon. Our manufacturing's map mode is so beautiful, chat. So beautiful. It is the event we've been trying to fire. Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth the first, 665 with inspirational leader. Dude, have a look. How do you not get this, dude? We are splitting English Channel, like how Portugal and Spain would split Sevilla. It's not standard or the best play to do, but we're memeing, dude. We're not. We're having a good time together. I need him to stop inting, though, and build more manufactories so we can get more money in English Channel, which he's doing now, though, because he is building the manufactories, even though he's inting. Dude, your your Canada built five manufactories. <laughs> AI's better than the One, player. two. 
three. Okay, five was exaggeration. He built three. The highest income. Woo! Uh, okay, okay. I'm I'm going to land my troops in you. I have two thousand, two hundred ten thousand, but um, I can build suit more soon. Should we wait until next session? There's only fourteen minutes left. Probably, yeah. Uh, just build up and wait. Maybe diplo changes. After. I won't put my troops in you. We'll just do that at the beginning of next session. I'm also very tempted to just build 400 transports and just land 400k on him all at once. I let me deck my own war, and then you can come in. You can come in as a separate war. Here we go. I decked. You can deck now too, or you can wait until next 200. session. 200. Oh my god. <laughs> 200k. This oh is casual. 266k. <laughs> Oh my lord. I'm thinking of battle. I've overstacked so hard. Dude, actually, I don't get stack wiped. I can evacuate. I have enough boats to evacuate if I lose a battle. <laughs> oh my. Highest income, largest navy. Oh, dude.